Just saw a comment come through on my channel for this video right here, modal dialog blur. This is where I show you how to use some new features and some new options for displaying a modal dialog. Now this is a native modal dialog in iOS. So today I wanna show you a comment that I got here from this person, moneyjack84. He actually was nice enough to send me a project of a demo that he created and this is using a technique that I haven't tried before. This is how to make the background sort of transparent and to have a glass effect on iOS using the blur transition. And this demo actually that he sent me, I'm gonna show it to you right now. I also got a question about this for Android from Jammer here. And he's asking if something like this is available for Android. So I'm gonna show you Android here as well. It's not gonna be the same, but if you do want your modal dialogues to be exactly the same on Android and iOS, then you should do custom modal dialogues, not native ones. So today we're looking at native ones. So thanks, Monty Jack. We're gonna take a look at what you've sent me coming up. Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Alex. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And I'm giving away swag. I've been doing it for the last few videos. It's gonna be shirts for those folks that live in the United States, plus I got a bunch of other things, and stickers for those that live outside of the United States. Mine and Jack, you're gonna get one as well because of your awesome comment and your sample project. So thanks for leaving that comment. All right, let's take a look at what you sent me. So you sent me this project right here. Basically, this builds off of exactly the ending state of that tutorial video that I showed here. And I've reverted the background color for the modal dialogue page to cayenne, cayenne, cyan, I think it's cyan. Cyan. You never know with the C in English. Sometimes it's an S sound and sometimes it's a K sound. It's weird. So here we are, we got this project running right here on iOS and I also have it on Android. Let me just close these modal dialogues so you see what it looks like without that. Here, this is iOS. I'm gonna tap this button. It opens up a modal dialogue in an animated way using regular animations. And here it is on Android. It's gonna open up the modal dialogue, not animated, but it still looks exactly the same. And you have the modal XML here, which has a background color defined of cyan. Now, what Jack says is that you can actually change this to be a different kind of color. So you can specify a hex value here, but not just any hex value. So we can specify a hex color here like 0000, zero, zero, zero 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 maybe let's make that one colorful well we'll get to that so this is a regular hex value for a color that you might see anywhere on the web or whatnot and if i tap here you'll see that the value is black and that's the background of that page the modal page let's take a look at android while we're here oh that is android let's take a look at ios okay so we have a black background now what you can do is First, you can change the color of that background. So that's something I didn't show before. So I'm gonna make F0, which is gonna give it a red tint. So if I tap this, you'll see that it's red, and this one is also red. Now, what these values, these background color values in native script allow you to do is to actually provide the first two hex numbers here. We can add that in. Let's say we do AA here. So now you have eight characters there. It's an eight character hex string. The first two is gonna be the opacity or the alpha, and the last six are gonna be the color. So if I save that AA and we tap on this button on Android, you'll see that now the opacity of the background is a little bit pinker than it was before. So that means we are having that effect on the opacity of the background color in Android. And in iOS, that happens as well. Now, you might notice that on iOS, we get the regular animation of the modal dialog coming up from the bottom of the screen. That's pretty typical. And that has to do with the way we're opening up the modal dialog. And I show you those options in the previous video. Now, you also see a strange thing happen. When we tap on this and you see at the end, you have a translucency to the background of the modal. But the translucency overlaps on what's behind it, which is a button. And then what happens is the button disappears. So it's kind of strange. So I would not recommend using it like this. However, there is an option for iOS that I'm going to enable. And this is part of my Jack's demo. So I'm going to go ahead and add to our show modal options right here. Before we show the modal, we create the options and I'm gonna add an iOS object and then presentation style is gonna be UI modal presentation style dot blur 
over full screen. So this is the blur effect. I did show this earlier, but I'll show it to you right now and what effect it has. So I'm gonna hit tap here on iOS. Let me go ahead and restart it. NS run, that command will actually run on both iOS and Android if you don't specify a platform. And that's what I got going on right here. Okay, after restarting it, let's go back to the code. So this is the option we've got and I need to hit tap here and you'll see that the modal dialogue fades in with a nice blurry animation and it blurs the background. You can see the background is just a tad bit blurry. It has a nice little glass effect. You can still see what's behind the modal dialogue, which is really cool. You can't interact with it, of course, because it's in the back, but you can still see it. So yeah, it's a really nice effect, nice animation for both closing and opening the modal dialogue. And you get that slight blur of the background for free. And if you had to do a custom modal dialogue, you can still get the transparency and everything. However, that blurring effect won't come for free. You'd have to actually create the blur effect yourself. All right, so this video is just real quick. I'm not going deep into the code, I'm building this up from scratch. If you wanna see that, I'll link to the other video where I do that down below. So thanks, Manny Jack. Very cool of you to send me the comment as well as a sample project. Really appreciate that. If anybody else wants to leave comments down below of things you wanna see, leave a comment down below anyway. Maybe I'll like it and I'll send you swag. All right, thanks for watching this. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video.